In this video, we'll look at how to upload your dictionary into the initializer OCL zip file. This is really helpful because uh, by having your dictionary already in one of your configuration files, you'll be able to support adding that dictionary uh, for sites without an active internet connection at the time of setup. And you also don't have to create all those concepts at that site manually. You can add them from this file. Um, there's also no limit to the number of collections you can use. Um, you'll actually see at the end that we have multiple dictionaries added in our OCL uh, configuration file. But let's take a step back and look at how this works. So here I've got a demo collection. Um, this is how what it looks like in the OpenMRS um, uh, Dictionary Manager. And here is an example of the same collection in OCL Term Browser. Now you can see that I've recently released a uh, recent version, version and one workflow that many people know about is I can copy the subscription URL for this version, either here from the dictionary manager or from the term browser experience by clicking this copy URL button. Oh, that's the wrong version. I have to make sure that I've got the latest version that I want, which is released, and let's go ahead and copy that subscription link. So normally, um, if you have a connection uh, to the internet, you can go to your DMR directly and go to the Open Concept Lab module, which you need installed. Apologies. Go to your configuration page and paste in that um, that subscription. However, what about if you have uh, no internet connection or you want to package your distribution so that no one has to think about doing those those quick steps to set up the subscription? What if uh, what if you know that the server might go down regularly and you're going to need to restart it and you don't want to have to redo these manual setup steps, for example? Um, that happened to me with our reference application. So we have this uh, OCL uh, folder and, and you can learn more about how Initializer supports this and how to do this setup in the documentation in Initializer here for this config file. So you can see that in our uh, 3.x reference application, mind you, you don't need to have 3.x for this to work, you just need to have the OCL module. You can see that here in our config file, we have got this folder called OCL, which Initializer knows what to do with. So all I need to do is go into the OCL term browser. I go to my collection that I'm interested in, and I go to the versions tab. And here I find this download button for the version that I want, version nine. Clicking this will give me a couple options. We're gonna click the export option. Now it's ready, so let's click. And in a moment, here we go. We have the zip file that we need. And all I need to do is add this zip file into my configuration file. You can see I've already got version 9 here, so I don't need to do that right now. Hope this helps.